hard to argue with famous Japanese proverb, which highlights amazing resilience. Fall down seven times, stand up eight. <sighs> Believe me, you would need all the resilience you can get when solving this question. You're presented with the group of shapes, and you need to determine how many rectangles are there. For your answer, you need to select only one out of four possible choices. Choice A, six. Choice B, 12. Choice C, 17. And last but not least, choice D, 18. Let me highlight one of the rectangles for you, so you will get an idea. Seems easy, right? Or maybe no. Well, regardless of how you feel, I truly know that you have skills and creativity to tackle this question. Trust in your abilities and let's explore all possible solutions together. Let's tackle it as a team. Are you ready to show your answer? Let's dive in and compare our solutions. Remember though, even if you're uncertain, keep your enthusiasm high. Each question, regardless of the outcome, offers a chance to learn and grow. I showed you one rectangle, right? But let me show you some tips to solve these types of questions. Number one tip is that some rectangles can be part of the larger or smaller shapes presented. And number two tip is that you need to use your imagination to determine total number of shapes. I think I already know the answer. Let me reveal all the shapes to you. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Would you agree that the answer should be choice A, six? Well, I am having doubts now because I see more triangles. I also recalled the quote from Mary Holloway. Resilience is knowing that you're the only one who has the power and responsibility to pick yourself up. So I think it's time for me to keep looking. And you know what I discovered? After a little bit of time, I can see six additional rectangles here. Let me show them all to you. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. I think we're done here. I am ready to select choice B12 as an answer. Are you? But wait, there is more. And now is the time to remember the quote from Mahatma Gandhi. Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from indomitable will. With this question, when you feel like quitting, you need to remember why you started. Let's uncover all of the rectangles, not just part of them. If you work hard, you can see six additional rectangles. Here they are. Number 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So the correct answer here is choice D, 18. Let's dive into an amazing cognitive assessment test question that not only enhances your analytical abilities, but also improves your valuable problem-solving skills you can apply to solve real-life problems. You're presented with three squares, and you need to determine which square comes next. The next square should be selected out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Well, after close examination of all the choices, I think I got my answer. And I'm ready to unravel the problem-solving techniques together with you. I also think I have a tip for you on how to solve these types of challenges and obviously invite you to share your brilliant ideas on how to solve it in comments so we can all learn. Our goal is to get to the solution in four simple steps. Let's start with the step one. In step one, we need to analyze the original sequence of squares to find the pattern. Let's take a close look at what we have. Even though all objects are squares, the two squares are four by four, and the third square is five by five. We also can see that all shapes have alternating colors. But you can see that the first shape starts with the darker square in the upper left corner, and the second square starts with the lighter square in the upper left corner. Now it's time to go to the step two. In step two, we need to visualize the final shape. Based on what we've just learned, our final shape should be five by five in size with alternating colors and should have a lighter small square in the upper left corner. There are two choices that match this option, choices B and C. Let's jump to step three and eliminate the incorrect options. 
let's closely look at options B and C to examine options that are incorrect. As you can see, the option C is incorrect because the choice D2 is the extra dark object, which creates a cross. And this leads us to step 4, where we need to verify our answer. Once we've determined that what we believe is the final shape, let's double check it by comparing to the provided choices and ensure that it matches the pattern and colors to complete the shape. As you might have guessed, the correct answer here is choice B, because it matches all the criteria and continues the sequence. It's time to grab your favorite thinking snack, preferably not too crunchy though, as we're trying to focus here, because we're about to tackle a question that is challenging as resting to urge to eat the cookies. You're presented with five squares, and six square is missing. Obviously, there is a pattern here, and once you determine the pattern, you need to select your answer out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. I think I'm ready to share with you my answer. But remember, as we embark on this intellectual adventure, remember sharing answers is caring but I'll totally understand if you want to keep your genius strategy as a secret and not share it in comments. To better understand the answer, let's add three columns. Columns 1, 2, and 3. What you probably already know by now is that the picture in the third column, column 3, is a result of the combination of merging the first two columns, columns 1 and 2. There are two merging rules applied here. Let's start with the small square in the first row in the upper left corner. The small square is darker color. In the second column, the small square is also dark. So when we merge dark color and dark color, we end up with the white color. And the second merging rule is that if colors for the locations are different, it becomes a darker color. To answer the question, knowing these rules, all you need to do is switch to the row 2 and determine the combination for the column 3. So the correct answer here is choice C, which is a result of the combining small squares in second row for columns 1 and 2. And now you can challenge yourself with this puzzling assessment test question by keeping in mind, though, that the process of finding the answer sharpens your ability to strategize and devise efficient solutions. You're presented with 3x3 matrix. Matrix consists of large squares, and each large square has four small squares inside. Small squares follow some sort of pattern, and this is something you need to determine and select the missing answer, which is the ninth square out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. I think I found my version of the answer, and I'm looking to forward to share with you my problem-solving strategies. Let's dive into the solution together, and as usual, if you have any unique ideas, please share them in comments for everyone's benefit. To better understand the rows, let's mark each one of them with the letter. From top to bottom, the rows will be A, B, and C. Now let's look closely at the darker squares in the row A. From left to right, the darker square shifts clockwise when we go to the next item. For example, in the leftmost column, the darker square is in the upper right, then it shifts in the lower right, then it shifts to the lower left. If you look closely, the pattern continues in the row B. One important tip for you to solve these types of problems on your own is to look for the shapes shifting in clockwise or counterclockwise patterns to determine the final solution. Once we've determined the pattern, we know how to solve this challenge. The correct answer here will be choice B, where the next darker square will be in the upper right corner. I love this question because it tests your spatial reasoning and analytical skills so well. You're presented with overlapping set of objects. We have in the picture pink square, red star, gray circle, yellow star, green circle, blue box, and pink diamond. In the middle of the picture we have a gap where nothing is presented and this gap is represented by the question mark. You need to fill the gap with one of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look at the picture to see if you can fill the gap and find the missing object. I'm pretty sure you got it because I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer 
and obviously if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The correct answer here is choice C. Let's confirm and verify it by moving this choice to fill the gap. To solve these types of challenges, you need to mentally build the object in your head by continuing to visualize in your head one of the existing objects in the picture. I used green circle. It is very obvious which choice would continue the green circle. But you can also use yellow star, blue square or pink square. Do you know any other ways how to solve these problems? Please make sure to post your ideas on how to better solve them in comments. Here's a tricky problem which some might find challenging, but you being a subscriber to this channel will solve very easily. You're presented with three expressions. Each expression is of a different color. And one of the items in the third expression, which represented by the blue color, is missing. You need to select the missing item, which is currently question mark, out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Consider pausing this video to see if you need more time to find the solution. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To solve any challenge, the key is to find the pattern. And this question is no exception. The pattern here is rather unusual, but it still exists. And the pattern here is that there are three core shapes represented by objects in the first column. The core objects here are arrow pointing up, star and the circle. And all remaining objects are just the variations which is created by merging core objects into another object. Let me demonstrate by starting with the red sequence. Red sequence is created by starting with arrow, merging arrow with the star and then merging the result with the circle. A yellow expression is created by starting with the star, merging it with the circle and then merging the result with the arrow. And last but not least, blue sequence starts with the circle, completes the merger with the star and then missing item can be created by doing another merger with the arrow. As you might have noticed, the objects here presented as expressions instead of being a sequence. There's no other reason to do it than just to confuse you. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please post your ideas, solution and rationale in comments. Here's an amazing question to validate your analytical skills and spatial reasoning. You're presented with the square, which is broken down into four parts. Three parts are filled with different shapes and fourth part is missing. You need to determine which choice would create the most symmetrical large square. And you need to select this choice out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can meet the condition and select the right shape. Are you ready? I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To solve this challenge, let's better understand what we're dealing with. We have five types of shapes. We have L shape. We have a semicircle. We have a semi-diamond, semi-heart and rectangle. Each one of the shapes is located in a small square and each one of the shapes has one, two or three dots inside of it. Now, large square is broken into four small squares. Let's give each one of the small squares an ID. We'll call them area one, area two, area three and then comes the missing area, which we need to fill would be area four. If we go back to the original question, our goal is to identify which choice would create the most symmetrical large square. Let's look closely at what most symmetrical might mean. Let's draw a horizontal symmetrical line and let's draw a vertical symmetrical line to help us define the symmetry in the large square. Let's look at the easiest symmetrical objects we can identify. For example, between area one and area two, we can build the full yellow diamond. And to do this, we will use the two half diamond objects with one dot. Between area two and area three, we can build a full heart using the semi hearts and one dot on each side. The choice that we would need to select would help us build the circle between areas one and four and the circle would be green and we'll have one dot and the correct choice will also help us build the symmetrical L shaped object between areas three and four, which will have two dots. Two choices match both of these criteria, and these choices are A and B. 
Which one do you think we should select? Let's look closely to see if we can determine some additional patterns. For example, across horizontal line, if we look, there is a red L shape and blue L shape. So the key here is L shape. It's on the both sides of the horizontal symmetrical line. Same thing with green triangle in area 3. And potentially we would need to have yellow triangle or triangle of other color in the area 4. We can also see the symmetry diagonally across the horizontal symmetrical line. For example, a red L shape in area 1 has two dots and green triangle in area 3 has two dots as well. Which means that the missing object should have three dots symmetrical to the blue L shape. So the triangle in area 4 will need to have three dots. Very similar symmetry exists between rectangle in area 2 and area 4. It should be a rectangle in area 4 and rectangle should have three dots as well. Based on all of this analysis, I think the correct choice here is choice A. Did you detect any other symmetries or did you come up with a different solution? Please make sure to post your version, answer and solution in comments. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.